All right, let's make our app do something. Now, we've got this group with a text inside. Let's have a button that lets us hide this group, all right? So I'm gonna have a button, I'm gonna put it underneath, okay? And what I want to do, I'll actually customize this button as well. Let's say hide, okay? I want that when this button is clicked, this entire group just disappears from the page. So to do this, we're going to delve into the workflow tab. Now the workflow tab is where you're gonna add all of your app logic, is how you're gonna make your app actually interactive so that users can do stuff, navigate, click buttons, um, you know, save data, anything basically. All of that kind of logic is gonna live within your workflow tab. And every workflow within the workflow tab starts with an event. So event, an event is a trigger, okay? So something that happens. So if we click on it, we can see, you know, there's a bunch of different trigger events that Bubble gives us. What we're looking for is an element is clicked. It's one of the most fundamental events that we have, okay? And then we have the option to actually choose, well, what is the event in question that when it's clicked, we're gonna trigger this workflow, okay? So we're gonna choose that button that we selected before, button hide, and here you can actually see sort of a hint as to the importance of naming your elements correctly because when you're in this view, then you're able to actually identify quickly what group it is or what element it is that you wanna select. So button hide, that's what we want as our event trigger, okay? And now we actually have the option to add actions. In fact, a string of actions. We could have sort of one action take place and then another action and then another action. Basically like when this button is clicked, it unleashes this series of events or this chain of events. So we'll add our first action by clicking here to add an action. And again, Bubble gives you a whole bunch of options. Um, what we're looking for is under element actions and the hide action. So we'll click that. And now we choose actually the element that we want to hide, which of course is going to be our group master. Okay, so now that we've added this simple bit of logic, we'll go back over to our preview tab. Okay, and we'll click on this button. And indeed, our group is being hidden just like we would expect. So that is like the first bit of logic that you know, you've created in your app. So congratulations. Um, let's now add a button to show that group again. Okay, we've got the ability to hide it. Let's bring it back. So what I might do is create another button over here and a quick way to create an element that looks just like another element to duplicate it, in other words, is to hold down control and just drag or command, of course, if you are on a Mac. Okay, I'll double click on it and just change the name here to be show. And now I wanna create another event triggered when this button is clicked. And rather than going to this workflow tab and doing this process that we just did all over again, what I can actually do is just click this button, start edit workflow directly from the buttons property editor, okay? And that's gonna already create a, you know, a button is clicked event for us that we can anchor our actions to. So now I can click to add an action. Again, we're looking at element actions and the one that we're looking for is show. Okay, so now I can choose that group master again, reload my preview tab. Okay, I can hide it and also I can show it. So now we have a little bit more interactivity going on in our app. Okay, so this is basic, um, but also a little bit unintuitive. Like why do we need two buttons here when actually, you know, one button will suffice. Um, we can actually have, if we click this hide button when the group is visible, then it can be hidden. And if it's not visible, right, we can just click it, should be able to just click this button again to bring it back instead of having two different buttons. So how to do that, that's what we're gonna cover in the next video.